Hey guys, so this is going to be a relaxer routine video. I'm going to show you how I relax my hair by myself for the very first time at home. Now I'm just going to go ahead to puff up my hair. If you guys take a closer look at my hair, you see that I've gotten about 1 to 2 inches of new growth. So I've focused on those inches in this video. For my relaxer kit, I am making use of the ORS relaxer and this is how it looks like once you open it up. In there, we have the relaxer itself, we have the activator, we have the shampoo, we have the wrap or set mousse, we also have the replenishing pack as well as the moisturizing hair lotion. In there, you still going to have a spatula and your gloves, okay? So I go in to just use this shea butter Uri on my hair, but before I do that, I like to go a little bit of hair prep, combing my hair and using my fingers to run through my hair to avoid any tangling happening afterwards okay so i just use this shea butter to run along the perimeter of my hairline of my hair to protect my hairline as well as my skin okay so don't forget your ear and also take some and put on your wrist and in your hands for protective measures good so after doing this i just partition my hair into three sections you can do it into seven, ten, whichever way you want to do it. But I like mine in three. So just one at the back and two in front. So after partitioning it, I twist and lock it in so that it does not get in the way of when I want to do my stuff. So this is how we are looking like right after I put my hair into those sections. And we're giving band to nuts. <laughs> so after this, I go in to wear my gloves. And my gloves were with my spatula shawl. So in case you're looking for yours, that's where it is. So I'm going to just mix this relaxer cream with the activator. And I get this a very good stir and I get this kind of consistency. So I'm just going to start with the back section of my hair. And at this point, I was kind of nervous because I can't really see the back of my hair like I would have loved to see. But my viewfinder was kind of helping me, but it was not as slick as I wanted it to be. So this is just me applying the relaxer onto the part where I have my new boots first. Because the thing with relaxer is that once you apply it, it begins its work instantly. It does not chill for you to finish the other sections before it start working. It works immediately, you put it in. So you can just get a timer, get a clock, or just put an alarm on your phone to just time yourself as you do this. I just put this on my hair. I just give this a very good massage and ensure that every relaxer has gotten to every strand of hair that I have on my head. So right now we are at the front and I'm going to explain this in detail. So you see me patting my hair while doing this because I want to pat it in a way that I can see the relaxer from the other end of the pattern so that relaxer gets to every section of my hair. No strand of hair will be left untouched, okay? So that's what I'm doing. You can use your tail comb for this pattern or you can use your hand. Whichever one is faster for you. I use both in this video. So that's what I'm doing right now. Applying the relaxer, partitioning it to the other side to see another part that I can work with. I'm starting this, okay? So if you take a closer look at this video, you see that I'm abandoning my front hair my baby hair okay those tiny hairs that form my hairline that's because i want to leave that part for last because like i said before the relaxer works immediately and whenever i relax my hair i use about like 15 to 20 minutes so majority of the time i use it like let's say 15 minutes for the whole application process and then i use like five minutes to chill before i go wash my hair off so if i apply the relaxer on my baby hair initially my baby hairs are going to be over relaxed, they're going to get burnt, they're going to get damaged. So I try to leave that part for last so that even though I apply it like let's say at the 13th minute here, it won't really do so much damage to my hair, okay? So right now I realized that I had more than enough relaxer and that's why I went back to just keep applying more and more and more till I got it finished, okay? So that's one thing you need to note also, don't just go and apply everything in large quantities the first time because <laughs> you do not want to start seeing yourself at the end and it and I start saying that you do not have enough to cover enough section so start small and grow big okay so i'm applying it again and again i'm massaging it that's another thing with this process is that it's repetitive we keep doing the same thing and at this point i could probably feel that my hair was already getting relaxed because it was not as thick as it was the first time i applied this on my hair so i'm just going in and going in applying more Trying to avoid my front hair as much as possible, but there's little that I could do, so I just try to be careful and just get it done the way I could get it done. Okay, so this is just me applying it again and again. I think at this point here, yeah, I'll just keep quiet and let you guys watch it by yourself because it's quite visually explanative. So 
So I've added into about two to three more rounds. This is what I still have left in my relaxer kit. So I just went to start putting this on my baby hair. I'm being very careful not to get this on my skin. So just putting it on my baby hairs, my front hairs, and not forgetting the sides by my hair as well because we do not neglect these guys that give us our good edges. So then this for the other side as well, and I just keep massaging this part. And just ensuring that okay everything is not so much on the baby hair and i spread it out evenly so after applying it onto all my baby hairs i just went to apply it again because i still had left and i cannot waste it okay so i just massaged the many ones onto my hair and at this point i could feel that my hair was massaged i don't know if it might start burning me you guys you do not have to wait to start burning you to start washing your hair that's just a light that was sold to us when we're little that your hair has to be hot before you know that it has relaxed and at this point i'm like why didn't you just tell me that they could feel my hair really relaxed why did they allow me to be my start shouting for help before they relax my hair but anyways after everything for like five minutes i went to the shower to just wash out the relaxer you want to wash this about four to five times because you want to ensure that every relaxer has left your hair so properly do this take your time wash every part of your hair wash it thoroughly take your time you're not washing this part because you do not leave chemical on your hair and this is what the hair is looking like right now and my hair was really relaxed. i could already feel the stickiness apply my shampoo after washing my hair for the fifth time and you can tell when your hair is ready ready for the shampoo because it will start forming the ladder okay so if your hair is not forming the ladder that means you still have a bit of lux in your hair so that's why I said you should wash it properly before applying the shampoo. So you can see how easily it took for my hair to lather. That means my hair was void of any relaxer. So I just washed my hair normal process here yeah, using the shampoo about three times to show that okay, my hair was neat and my hair was good to go for the aftercare. Well, I don't know if it's just me, but there's something very therapeutic and calming about washing and massaging my scalp. Like, it just gives me this peace and this. I don't know how to explain it, but it just happens to me. Let me know if you feel the same way whenever you're washing your hair and massaging your scalp, okay? So, this is me rinsing out my hair for the first time. And you want to go about this shampoo process more than once because the key is to ensure that you don't have any relaxer left on your hair, okay? So, after doing this the first time, I go ahead to apply the shampoo again on my hair and I just love massage. You can tell that I was like, I love massaging my hair with the shampoo. It was so calming. I did not want it to end. Like, I was already gone. I was in cloud nine. <laughs> so, like, this is, like, the most important part for me because it just makes me feel so calm and good. And this is how clean my hair is. The some relaxers that you use, like, actually tell when you still have black in it. That is, the shampoo will be giving purple or pink. For mine, it will just clash. Okay, so after I probably rinse this out of my hair, I applied the finishing pack and let it sit under my shower cap onto my hair for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then I go ahead to rinse it out. And this is what the hair is looking like right now. It's feeling so moisturized, so healthy, so fresh. And this is what it looks like up close. I'm so impressed at this point because the hair did not burn at any point. And I'm really, really happy for myself at this junction. So going in with my aftercare, I'm using my wrap set mousse. And I spoke this to myself because I didn't think it's going to be as liquid as it turned out to be. So I just applied this onto my hair ensuring that I have everything on my hair because I need my hair to get back the moisture that it has lost during this relaxer process. So bear in mind that I'm not just applying this onto my hair strands but I'm also going extra mile to massage this into my scalp. So after doing that, I just go ahead to dry my hair and just prepare it for the styling process and this is the normal regular blow drying that we're all used to yes so grab your comb and use your hand dryer or put your hair into the hair dryer and just get it done so after doing that i was looking forward to styling my hair and i said to just go and grab my hair straightener i haven't straightened my hair in a long while and i'm totally impressed with the results i got so this is my hair looking all rich all moisturized all blown up and it was looking good i had to, i was actually looking very very good and it has been a while since i actually straightened my hair i mean that's my idea was when i was a kid but i think i'll start doing this more often because my hair looks healthy i have to admit here so this is me just straightening my hair like i said before i do not have any idea of styling my hair on what i was going to do after i straightened the hair but i was going with the flow and this is what i was able to come up with i mean it was not all that perfect but 
I try to just get it done, do it, I try to get it done. And this is how we are looking. The hair is looking rich, it's looking moisturized, it's looking healthy. I think it's even glowing. If you look at it a bit closer, I think it's actually glowing. So this is what we're able to come up with. And I'm very, very happy that this turned out to be a successful routine. Yeah. If you like content like this, do let me know below in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share it to your family and friends, and also subscribe. If you're new, hi, I'm Goodness Igrom. And here on this channel, we do beauty content like this video as well as lifestyle content and content creation tips okay guys i'll see you guys in the next video till then stay fabulous stay blessed and stay glowing bye